I'm just north of Grand Rapids, Michigan, taking on the most punishing patty in baseball, the Fifth Third Burger. I started devouring this five pound beast in the middle of the seventh inning. If I finish it before the end of the game, I win a t-shirt and a spot on the Wall of Fame. Half the burger remains, but there's only an inning left to play. He's doing great. He's doing really strong. Keep it up, Adam. With the Whitecaps down four to two, the ninth inning gets underway, and I hastily attack the third section of the burger. There's just so much of everything. Like every bite, you're like, oh, it's unrelenting. Every bite, it's like, it's like a ton of beef, a ton of bread. I reach the 75% point. Just as the first out is made. One away in the top of the ninth. And I start on the fourth and final section. The last quarter is a killer. Most people get this far, they can't finish that last quarter. This is where it gets a little tough. I'm eating as fast as I can, but two quick outs bring the game to the middle of the ninth inning. A lot of burger, a lot of buns still ahead of me. The game moves to the bottom of the ninth. Only three outs left, and I'm getting very, very full. All right, Adam. You're almost there. Look at that. There's not much left. That's what you think. As I ready myself for the sprint home, the first out is made. This is not easy, but it is fun and really delicious. The second out soon follows. Strikeout, and the Caps are down to their last out. With the White Caps down four to two, their last hope and mine steps up to the plate. Come on, buddy, you can finish this. Come on, you're there. We're there for you. As I scrape the remaining toppings together, he swiftly falls to an 0 and 2 count. And before I can take the final bite, the pitcher launches what could be the game's last pitch. He swings and fouls it out of play to the left. 0 and 2. Saved by a foul ball. I put the final bite of Fifth Third Burger into my mouth. That's it. No, you're good. We got a winner. A moment later, the final out of the game is made. Today, in the Battle of Man versus Food, here at Fifth Third Park in Grand Rapids, Man won! journey to the racing capital of the world, Indianapolis, Indiana, for the Big Ugly Burger Challenge. I've already eaten one of these pound and a half behemoths. Good enough for a four by six picture on the Wall of Fame. Adam just finished the first burger. He's off to an incredible start. But I will claim no victory until I eat four, earning me a life-size cutout and an Indiana eating record. Though there is no time limit, the food wall is gaining on me fast. So bring on Big Ugly number two. This, this is so un unfair to have this sweet, angelic face bring me such an evil burger. We have the Big Ugly and the Little Beautiful. That's what we have. I build my second burger, quarter it, and resume the full throttle race at the 15 minute mark. I battle on. And after 22 hard fought minutes, I've reached the end of the burger. Who does number two work for? Two big uglies down. Two to go. This is no time to slow down. I have to go as far as I can for MVF Nation, so bring on the third, man. Good. I bite into the third big ugly and immediately see why only three people have ever finished it. Richest thing in the world. If I had to pull into a piss up, they would not need to change my oil. <laughs> An hour into
Thanks to the challenge, I have three pounds of burger in my belly, including two sticks worth of butter. Woo. But I'm not ready to wave the white flag. Summoning all my horsepower, I fight through the burger's first quarter. But the first bite of the second quarter forces me to hit the brakes. My beautiful Hoosiers, I heard it that time around. I hope y'all could hear it. That's the alarm that I keep right below my neck that lets me know that there's trouble down south. And while I might be able to finish that quarter, I don't think I could finish the third. And I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for your support today. I didn't break the record and eat four big uglies, but two is good enough for an eight by 10 on the wall of fame. Even though today, in the struggle, that is man versus food, food won. Because I got a chance to meet all of you. I consider myself victorious, and I'm gonna take a victory lap. I'm at Eagles Deli battling Chuck. We're gonna see who can knock more of the 12 pound Eagles challenge out of the park. A Boston native or your boy from Brooklyn. Let's go, Chuck! Yankees suck! This is not a New York friendly crowd. They even have Sox legend Kevin Euclid in their corner. Here, I'll help you out. <laughs> oh! oh! All right, all right, no, that was fair. Both, both, both. That was fair. My assessment is Chuck. He's got what, two, four, six, five and a half, four and a half, four and a half. <laughs> whole bunch of fries. And over here we got three and three quarters and almost all the fries. We're 15 minutes in. Three pounds of beef already in my belly. I'm off to an impressive start. I'm for anyone that finishes that whole thing, because that is the most amazing act I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is better than a World Series. Oh! Maybe not. <laughs> 30 minutes in, I have a slim lead. I think I'm going for, I'm going for the smaller guy here. He's got a good pace going. And my opponent is starting to sweat. You or loved ones suffer from the meat sweats? Let's go, Chuck! Let's go, Chuck! Let's go, Chuck! The burgers are multiplying. I think there's like a burger vortex, and I eat it, and it just can't regenerate. And Chuck has found my Achilles heel, French fries. Yeah, Chuck, he's, you know, taking care of those fries, you know, more so than this guy over here. I think in the end, it'll pay off. It's the final push, too close to call. Everything comes down to these closing seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go! After the epic battle, it's time for the moment of truth. This is the final way. You each started with 12 pounds of food. This is Adam's weigh-in. <laughs> My plate weighs in at just over five pounds. That means I ate almost seven pounds of burger and fries. But is it enough to beat Boston and take home a win for New York? Under five. Yeah! Adam, you knew the consequences, and you came in about six ounces short. Can you please put on this shirt? Oh! This may be the beef talking, or it may just be my good sportsmanship, but it was an honor to enter the fray of battle with you today. Oh, to you. Woo! Let's get this photo over with.
I'm in Tucson, Arizona at Lindy's on 4th, battling a 12-inch, 12-patty cheeseburger so epic, it's called the OMG. Finish the entire mouth-watering tower, and my photo goes on the wall of fame. Finish in under 20 minutes, and it's on the house. That's coming. I'm eight minutes in, and six burgers are gone. Adam Street great. He's halfway through. I think he's going to kill it. But after downing burger number seven, my stomach stops cold. Five. Five. It's over a pound of beef. Still less. Unrelenting. The cheese, though, the cheese on the griddle actually tastes really awesome. That actually helps. Come on, My jaw is getting so tired. I've been chewing for nearly 14 straight minutes, and that is not, not easy. Plus, because the food is so rich. Four burgers worth of beef are left, 16 minutes in, and I've slowed down, way down. to the free threshold. I just gotta beat the food. Me and the OMG. But time is ticking fast. I am HO, this is nothing fuss. 20 minutes pass. What some people will do for a free meal. <laughs> and burger remains. All right, brother, you hit the 20 minute mark, but you can still rock this thing out. Let's do this. Let's go. the free meal, but the ultimate goal still lies ahead, finishing the burger and getting my photo on the wall of fame. So steady. It's a really good burger. It just happens to be a lot of it. You got it, brother. Finish it off. He's gonna take this burger down. I hunker down and plow through the last two burgers. And finally, 44 minutes in, I reach the last bite. completed the OMG challenge. I may have had to pay for my burger, but having my photo on the wall of fame is well worth the price. Today in the battle of man versus the Lindy's Hard Fourth OMG challenge, man wins! <laughs> I'm just outside of Detroit, Michigan at Mally Sports Grill and Bar to take down the biggest burger ever made. The 190 pound, absolutely ridiculous burger. I only have two hours to do it, but I am not alone. I'm part of an eating army that's 40 miles strong. If we succeed, we'll be the first team ever to take down a beast of this magnitude. You guys are 40 minutes in. You're two-thirds done with the burger. You've got less than 80 pounds left. I'm gonna keep eating and keep eating and keep eating till I can't eat anymore. Looking back and seeing rows and rows of the Man vs. Food Army to know I'm not going through this alone, it does my heart good. In just 50 minutes, we've devoured more than 120 pounds of the world's largest burger. That would be great news if there weren't 70 pounds of sliced and plated burger remaining. No matter how much we eat, the table is still full. 
I thought it'd be no big deal, but yeah, I am stuck. I got half a plate left. Nearly 140 pounds into this massive meat stack and already past the one hour mark, my team and I are fading fast. We've still got roughly 40 pounds on our plates and another 15 pounds still to be served. But just when all hope seems lost, a few heroes emerge from the ranks. A local wrestler, a Detroit police officer, and a Motown luchador all take on a third sky-high plate. With the team fired up, there's only one more burger plate to serve. One plate left. Who wants it? 25 minutes to go, and all we've got to do is eat what's in front of us. But the clock ticks away, and I am full. I'll try to nibble on this bread or something, you know. With minutes left, 35 pounds remain on our plates, and even the strongest stomachs are dropping like flies. Stick a fork in me, baby, I'm done. I, I want to eat more, but if I do, I'm going to make a mess all over Gene Simmons. Uh, I surrender to the beef. With 30 pounds of meat left on our plates, the team is losing steam, and our fighting spirit is fading. No more plates! No more plates! And soon, the inevitable comes to pass. two hours, we took on the biggest burger in the world. Although we chewed through more than 160 pounds of hamburger, it just wasn't enough. Today, against a record-breaking opponent in the first challenge of its kind, in the Battle of Man versus Food, Detroit, Michigan, this round goes to food. <laughs> Warriors came together to take down the biggest burger ever made. And although that burger broke our bellies, it did not break our team's spirit. 